Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Yesy J. I'm Yesy. And I'm Jay. And today we're going to be doing a reaction to My Hero Academia episode 15, Roaring Sports Festival. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys always show us. So, guys, last episode was the first episode of season two. So, um, it, it what was it? It starts off with. Um, what was it again? What was, I'm serious. I'm serious. Well, um, so, it starts off with. Uh, that old man getting the letter. So guys, last episode was the first episode of season two. Uh, we pretty much in the beginning started off with All Might writing a letter to his previous uh, master or his previous trainer. I'm sure the one that trained him to be All Might. Uh, so, or, or you know what? It might be the person that he got one for all from, yeah. you know, because he said it was his previous master. And, and just like uh, Deku, his, mm -hmm. his uh, master or uh, trainer right now is uh, All Might. So All Might ends up writing to his old master, letting him know that he has found a worthy disciple to take on the quirk one for all. Um, he also lets him know that it wasn't somebody that he expected. He he was planning on going to UA, finding somebody um, that was already, you know, that already had a quirk. And, and then, that was, sorry no, to yeah, interrupt you, but also was at the top of the charts because that's one of the most important things All Might said. I wanted somebody who was right at the top of their class to take on this quirk because he knew that it was going to take a lot of the person and their body endurance everything from them yeah and you know and and you know one day he ended up saving deku which was the was the person that he he you know found as a as a worthy disciple knowing that deku didn't have a quirk he ran in and tried saving bakugo so that was all all might needed to make his decision on choosing deku as his uh disciple so we also got a small introduction to the sports festival of, uh, you know, I, Mr. Aizawa was letting everybody know that they're going to need to go and, and do their best to try and prove to everybody that they're worthy enough to whether they want to be a sidekick or, you know, it just opens opportunities for, for hero agencies to, to want to pick them up. So while, while that was all going on, uh, who, who starts freaking out? Oh, Ochako, I believe. Ochako, yeah. well, she, she starts, you know saying that she's gonna do her best nobody knows really why she's taking it so serious deku ends up asking her you know why are you here why do you want to be a hero then she you know kind of you know breaks down and lets him know that that her story of why she wants to you know be a hero obviously just to because of the amount of money they make and but with that she'll be able to help out her family who has a construction company that's not doing so well so you know there's there's still good reasons that she's wanting to be a hero just not exactly the same as everybody else i'm sure everybody else wants to do it too you know may, you know what maybe some are trying to be popular some are trying to you know make a name for themselves yeah. maybe some are doing it for the money some are doing it just to you know help people you know yeah. i'm sure there's there's tons of reasons so uh, that, that's i guess not too out of the ordinary yeah and i wouldn't think there's anything wrong with anybody being there you know for their family or even if it's for the fame because at the end of the day if they're helping people in the community i feel like they're doing a good thing and if they're getting paid or whatever they prefer the fame that should be a reward for them i think yeah Another thing we forgot to mention was Mr. What was his name again? The instructor? The Mr. Aizawa. Okay, I can't really pronounce his yeah, name. Yeah, Eraser, Eraserhead. Yeah, how excited we were that he was actually back. Yeah, and it didn't look like he was going to be permanently damaged. Well, we don't know yet so far, but, you know, he came back. He's just a little bandaged up, but he always had bandages, so yeah. that, that shouldn't make too much of a difference. So in the end, All Might ends up asking Deku uh, if, if he wants to have lunch with him uh, to, to pretty much let him know and talk to him about the sports festival, letting him know that he wants Deku to go out there and prove himself and let everybody know what he's capable of because uh, this this is going to be the best time to to just show everybody what he can do and, and to also prove to All Might that he is, you know, the best person and, and just, you know, the perfect person to, to take his place. Since, you know, I'm sure All Might knows that his time's, you know, gonna come to an end eventually. He, mm -hmm. well, he's only down to about an hour that he can stay in his All Might form. So that, I'm sure that's gonna come down to, what, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, then 15 minutes, then what? Is he only gonna have five minutes left to when, you know? But what does that really mean? Does that just mean that when his time is up, he can't be a hero, so he won't be able to transform? Or does that mean that he will actually, like, you know, it's fatal? Yeah, I don't know. That's true. I don't know if he's gonna die from from this. Is is it like a disease? Is this some type of like something that's eventually gonna kill him? Or because I mean, if he can still live, but he's just not gonna be able to 
take on the All Might form, I guess that's still better than yeah. him dying. So it's really just the the blow that he has on his body. Is that really gonna kill? Is it eventually gonna kill him? I'm sure the quirk doesn't because his master had it before, you know, and that mm -hmm. he looks like he he's pretty old now. So I'm sure that blow that All Might has is what's gonna be, you know, very fatal to him eventually. But we're really gonna have to, you know, keep watching and see seeing what what really happens to All Might. But either way, we appreciate all that support you guys continue to show us. It's super awesome that you guys are coming back, leaving all those likes and all those comments. It really helps us out, guys. But either way, let's just go ahead and check it out. Think of the sports festival as your debut. You are the fledgling symbol of peace. The next All Might is Zuka Midoriya. You must introduce yourself to the world and proudly say, I am here. You know how the sports festival is set up. General studies and hero courses all fight against each other in a bunch of preliminary trials. Whoever makes it through the initial games face off in the finals. Oh. It's basically a big round robin tournament. Right. Meaning you'll have plenty of opportunities to sell yourself. Yes. No. I'm sorry. I mean, we. <laughs> all my... Some heroes always aim for the top, while others happily settle. The difference between those two mindsets has a big impact on how far you go in the real world. I understand how you feel, and I may even be projecting a bit of myself onto you. However, I hope you haven't forgotten the emotions you felt back at the beach during our training. Remember that? It was like a 10 month uh, training. Yep. I won't let you hold us hostage! They're scouting out the competition, idiots. We're the class that survived a real villain attack. They want to see us with their own eyes. Anybody. At least now you know what a future pro looks like. Now move it, extras. You can't walk around calling people extras just because you don't know who they are. So this is class 1A. I heard you guys were impressive, but you just sound like an ass. Scouting the competition. Maybe some of my peers are. But I'm here to let you know that if you don't bring your very best, I'll steal your spot right from under you. Consider this a declaration of war. Where did this guy even come from? <laughs> Wow. I was hoping I'd get to do some Hey, it's one of the perks, right? Yeah, too bad we're stuck working security this time. <sighs> Everyone, get your game faces on. We're entering the arena soon. Follow your fear, follow your fear, follow your fear. Midoriya. <laughs> Okay, that was just pretty, pretty blunt. However, you've got All Might in your corner helping you out. But know that I will beat you. Oh, we're not here to be each other's friends. Don't forget, this isn't a team effort. Wow. Wait a sec, Todoroki. I don't know what's going through your head, or why you think you need to tell me that you'll beat me. And yeah, of course you're better than me. In fact, you probably have way more potential than anyone in the hero course. That's why you got him so easily. Midoriya, maybe you're being a little hard on yourself and us. No. We are all gonna have to fight to stand out. And I'll be aiming for the top, too. Fine. Ooh. Now the introductory speech. Whoa, this year's 
chief umpire for the first years as the R-rated hero, Midnight! Amazing. Seriously, the other years don't know what they're missing. Uh, someone should talk to Miss Midnight about what she's wearing. And for the student pledge, we have... Kosuke Bakugo! What? Uh, he's the first year rep? I guess that hothead did finish first in the entrance test. <sighs> Only for the hero course exams. Oh, right. That girl obviously hates us. Yeah, and we've got Bakugo to thank for them not liking our class. <laughs> I just want to say, I'm going to win. Stepping stones to my victory. I'm gonna cross this overconfident sir. I can't wait to knock him down to size. Dang. The old Kachan would have laughed while saying that, making it a joke. The first faithful game of the festival. What could it be? Obstacle race. Ida. Ida's gonna win. All right, here we go. It's a race. You must introduce yourself to the world and proudly say I am here. I have to be smart about this. So this is going to be a lot better for the ones that have to do with speed, flying. Mm -hmm. Yep, even All Might's like super nervous. All right, so How did you talk me into this? The doorway. Dang. Yeah, that's there's going to be a bunch of people trying to get through. This is the first obstacle. That sucks. Yeah, I forgot everybody can start. Yep, they have to use their quirks. Yeah, because he, Todoroki didn't have to do the entrance exam, so he never had to face these robots before. That's true. He just automatically got into UA. Of course. Of course. Why? Right at the end. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light. 